Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to another video. Bem-vindos ao meu canal. If you're new here, my name is Vilma and today I'm going to be doing my part two of how I blow dry and style my hair. Now I've done a video on how I blow dry my hair so if you've missed that it will be linked up here or in the info bar below. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to um, upload these videos. Not sure if it's going to be this one first or the other, but you will find all the links for you guys as I upload them. Now I'm going to be sharing with you guys the products that I've been loving in the past few months that have been working so well for my hair texture, which I believe it's a 3A to 3C. Um, I have more of a wavy on top type of like loose curl and then at the bottom my hair is a lot more curly but my hair is going back to normal. I had some changes in 2018 and my hair is now starting to go back to normal. So I believe in a year's time, I'm hoping that my hair will be as curly as it was before. I will insert some pictures here and there so you guys can see if you are new to my channel. But I'm gonna share with you guys all the way from shampoo to styling products, the ones that I've really been working for me and they also work for my daughter's hair which is a lot more curlier than mine. For shampoo and conditioner I am using these ones by As I Am. They are from the Long and Lux line. I absolutely love these two right here. Love the scent, love how affordable they are and how well they treat my hair. Now the shampoo is super moisturizing or hydrating, I would say. It doesn't feel like it strips my hair at all. I use it a couple of times once a week, like on a Sunday when I do my treatment and, thing like, and things like that. I use the shampoo twice because I'm really trying to get all the residue, all the dirtiness out of my scalp and my hair. So I absolutely love the shampoo for that. And it's supposed to be strengthening. I'm not entirely sure if it has changed my hair to the point that I don't see as much fall out, but my hair does really like it because it's not stripping. And then the conditioner, which also says it's straightening and hydrating to the hair, works really well as a detangler, both on my hair and on my daughter as well. Moving on to leave-in conditioners, I have two right here. One is from As I Am, and this one is from Camille Rose. The one from As I Am is from the Long and Lux line. This one is the Grow Yogurt Leave-in Conditioner. It tells you at the back as well, or at the front, that it's for hair types three and four. I believe the shampoo and the conditioner do the same thing. I absolutely love this. I'm nearly at the end. I love how affordable this line is. Um, the leave-in conditioner is £6.99 at my local store. It works really well both for my hair and for my daughter but I feel like if you have more of a four type hair that you need definitely something a little bit heavier than this one. And then I have the Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In Detangling Hair Treatment that works amazingly well for my daughter's hair, but it also works really well on mine. I just have to be a little bit light-handed with it because I use other products on top, another one from the same line, but I really, really like the scent, how moisturizing it is. It's a great detangler, and both leave-in conditioners are definitely one of my favorites at the moment. Another conditioner that I've started using very recently from Shea Moisture, this is not a new product, it's been out for years. It's the Raw Shea Butter Restore restorative conditioner with sea kelp and argan oil. This one is for damaged transitioning hair. It's supposed to moisturize and fortify the hair and I absolutely love this conditioner right here. It smells amazing. Sometimes I use it as a leave-in conditioner but for the most part I use it as a conditioner but I also use it as a leave-in conditioner. That's why I wanted to talk about this one after the other two. It smells amazing, leaves my hair super shiny, it's not heavy and I love how good it is at detangling my hair and I find it very difficult with Shea Moisture conditioner. Sometimes they are too thick, they are not moisturizing enough. This one surprisingly, it's like one of the best conditioners that they have and it works really, really well for my hair. So I have my little one here so I can show you guys the difference in our hair textures. Her hair is, now it needs washing, it's super dry, but it's super kinky compared to mine. So I have to put a lot of leave-in conditioner in your hair, don't I, Bubba? Yeah. <laughs> For hair mask or treatment, I am using this one from Shea Moisture. It's called the Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Weightless Hair Mask with Imbe Oil and Aloe. It's a dip conditioner that protects fine, wavy to curly 
here. Now, this is not the first time I use this product, but I love it. It's very lightweight. It works both well on my hair and on my daughter's hair. It leaves her hair very, very moisturized and well treated. And for me, it just, first of all, I love the scent of this line. And I leave it for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes while I'm doing the rest of my body. And this works so well for my hair. I use it every Sunday. Sometimes I do two treatments a week when I have time, but because the weather is so dark and gloomy, my hair takes longer to dry. So I tend to only treat my hair with a hair mask on Sundays, but this one is absolutely amazing and I highly recommend. If you have similar texture to mine, it's not heavy and it will really make your hair bounce back. In one month, you will see a huge difference if you do use this mask once a week. The next category, it's going to be creams, which I use in the styling process. I use it after I apply my leave-in conditioner. The first one is this one by Camille Rose from the same line of the leave-in conditioner or detangler. It's the Coconut Water Style Setter. At first, I didn't like this product because I think I applied a little bit too much. But now I absolutely love it, both on my hair again and on my daughter. I really like the scent of this line. It smells like coconut, but it does have something else in there. But it does smell like coconut, although I don't like to eat coconut. I find it really weird tasting. But for hair products, I like the scent. This works so well. I used it today on my hair. So I use it as my second step to style my hair. It works really well, but I don't need a lot. And it's very, very moisturizing. And again, it's good also for detangling because I apply this on my hair and then I use my Denman brush to clump the curls together. So I love this. Now to refresh my curls, and this is not going to be the first time that you going to see this if you are familiar to my channel is this product right here from Cantu. It's the um, Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Moisturizing Curl Activating Cream. It activates curls, delivers volume and shine, reveals frizz-free bouncy curls, and it's a tick, 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 tick in all of those promises that they have on the tin. This product is amazing. I've gone through bottles of this. I use it on myself so much. On my daughter, I tend to use it maybe once a week, but I use this every time I want to refresh my curls and a little goes a long way. It really provides that hold, that shine. My curls do bounce back when I use this. Uh, more than likely tomorrow when I wake up, if my hair on this side looks a little bit frizzy, I just apply a little bit of water with my hands and then I apply a tiny little bit of this without brushing my hair. Just with my fingers, I rank this through without disturbing the curls. This will set my hair in place and my hair will look amazing for the entire day. A must, must have. The next two products are also from the same styling category, but they're gonna be gels. Two of them that I've been really, really loving. One I've been using for years and the other one is something new to my hair care routine. So the first one that I've been using for ages is the Camille Rose Curl Maker. I absolutely love this product. This top was 22 pounds, which is really, really expensive. And I've seen it at Boots for maybe 17. So maybe the store where I bought it had it overpriced. So I won't go back to that store anymore. However, I have good value for money because I've had this, I think for a year or a little bit over a year, and I still have quite a bit to go through it. I use about two to three pumps on my hair and I love what it does to my hair. It doesn't leave my hair feeling you know, hard, there's no cast, it doesn't um, create flaking. Obviously you need to pay attention to your products. Sometimes products don't work together, but all the products that I'm using, the leave-in conditioner, the setting cream are from the same brand. So they're supposed to work well together and they do really, really, really love this. Highly recommend if you have hair texture like mine all the way to kinky. This product is amazing. The other gel which is new to my hair care routine is the Eco Styler. I've been seeing this for ages, ages in stores, but I never ever bought it. And because my hair is at an awkward length, if I want to put it in a bun, I need something that really holds the flyaways and this product does an amazing job. I don't need to wet my hair, I just apply it on dry hair. I don't even know if that's how everybody does it but I really like it. I know a lot of people use this as a 
um, styling product like if I the way I use this one to do my curls some people use it but my hair is not thick enough for me to go ahead and do that but to put my hair up in really nice styles or to just put these hairs down for the entire day I absolutely love this and of course no hair care routine would work up perfectly well for myself if I didn't include an oil or a serum and the one that I've been loving recently is this one by Kerastase is the Elixir Ultime I have this in a smaller size because it came as part of a little set I've already finished the shampoo and the conditioner I really really like this little product right here I tend to use about a couple of pumps to fluff my hair out so I don't create any frizz it's not heavy it doesn't leave my hair greasy I do understand that it may not be the best option for the curly girl method because I think it has silicones don't quote me but i think their oils from kerastase do have a little bit of silicone but if you're if you don't mind then you can use this i really just apply it once in a while just to really fluff my hair out but not to seal anything because if i put all these products on my hair and then i apply a oil or serum my hair looks very very heavy so i tend not to do that but i really really like this one but there's so many on the market which are a lot more affordable than this one that will work as well so that is it for my current favorite hair care products i do hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure that you give this video a good thumbs up make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have make sure that you click on that bell notification so you don't miss any future videos from myself thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you on my next one Bye.